Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to install Lutris on Debian-based systems. But first, before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel members, Mislav, Darius Roos, and Pytorus for being channel members. They get early access to videos such as this one right here. Little badge next to their name whenever they comment on live streams or videos and get priority response to comments because they know their comments get sent to my phone first. Anyway. Let's get into the video. Now, what is Lutris? Well, as we hear, as they try to advertise themselves, they try and advertise themselves as a video game preservation platform. And it is pretty much that. It is what it says on the tin. They like to try and preserve or give you the ability to play games from as early as DOS games all the way up until modern day titles. And they try and do it inside one software package to bring all of your games together into one place you can then run them all but how do we install it well there's a few ways of doing it. but in my case we need to actually do something first this version of lutris is 0.5.12 more problem this is not the current version this is nowhere near the current version it's actually five versions behind current version of Lutris is 0.5.17. So, how are we going to fix it? Well, luckily for you and me, I have, an, I have a Lutris install and uninstall script. So, that's what I was just doing here. I've just, I've just actually updated my installer, so we will actually go with the setting up. So, clear our screen. We will do a... Uh, touch. Then we will do Lutris. Cool. Oh. Have I just destroyed? No, I haven't. Oh. Right, as we can see here, um, this, uh, uh, this updates our system if needs be, upgrades our system if needs be, removes anything relating to Lutris at all, and then updates, upgrades the system again. Uh, what I need to do is update that, so I will just do that, and then we will just do uh, git add, git push. Good. We'll just double check to make... No, it did not, so... Comment. Uh, updated. We'll just... Done. Okay, good. Right, that's what I wanted. Anyway, right. Let's uninstall Lutris. So, first thing we need to do is change the modifier. Plus X makes it executable. And then we want to do dot slash. Ubuntu Lutris uninstalled. Now, even though it says Ubuntu there, because I originally made this when I was using Ubuntu. We can now, it will, it will work with anything Debian based. So, do that. That's changed the modifier so it's now executable. So what we want to do is do sudo dot slash Ubuntu uninstall, Lutris uninstall. Hit enter, feed it a password. And this will then go through, update the system as needs be. And then it's, it's now removing Lutris. Anything to do with Lutris. Uh, the following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required. We aren't touching that. We're not removing anything other than Lutris because those are packages that were installed with Lutris that it's saying we now don't need because we've uninstalled Lutris. But that's not what we, not, what, not what we want to do. There we go. We will get word out eventually. What we want to do is now go take a look at our installer. So if we do nano uh, Ubuntu Lutris in, uh, install.sh install it sh and what this does is it updates and upgrades our system it does this every time pulls down the file we need in this case it is the 0 0.5.17 then installs it then updates it then upgrades and then bada bing it does it all for you you don't have to worry about it but that's what it does and to prove it works what we need to do is chmod plus x plus the executable dot slash one two loop just install now that we've done that, we'll just do a quick layer of the screen. 
sudo dot slash ubuntu uh, i might actually change the name of these files i have just realized that i just downloaded the dev file to <laughs> that i have to remove that so this is absolutely expected it is going these are not here why are they not here i can't carry on so what we need to do is do sudo apt uh fix broken cool uh, yes it will get the vulcan tools now Vul Vul vulcan is just a, a a processing engine graph it's just a graphics engine yeah just like um direct texas and open gl and open cl and all that jazz but now that we've done that run it again let it run through everything it might need to And now, if we do Lutris, I've not the version. Anyway, no name. What? Battle net source is unavailable because Google Protobuf could not be loaded. No module named Google. Lut uh, Lutris is. The <laughs> oh, okay, that's a weird one. Uh, Lotus is installed. This now, this is actually my own system. This isn't a virtual machine or anything like that. This is actually my own system. So there we go. Perfect. So what do we have? We have some software that's already installed. I have played Contraband Police and Factory and Jalopy Prison. These are all games that I currently have installed with steam if we look at games in general nothing has changed except uh the way things look because that's pulling in different images but that's fine now did this actually make a difference yes first things first that copyright uh mark here is now says 2009 instead of what it did originally this has now been updated it's got credits and licensing and all that jazz and it has more sources. Uh, GOG, Epic, Origin, EA, App, Ubisoft, Connect, and Steam. We can actually change this to include more sources. So we could include Humble Bundle and Itch.io, Amazon Prime Gaming, uh, Flat Hub, and Steam for Windows. Now, if we look here, everything is here. So if we were to log into something like GOG, we could do so clicking this gives us the login functionality uh, i don't have a gog account so it's not gonna matter uh, but if you had accounts for these you could then get it to show up it would then give you the option to run in or download your games but what we'll do actually is we will go to lotus itself don't log in We'll pick, we'll pick a game. Uh, with, let's go with 007 Quantum of Solace, published by Treyarch. And we will go with the, with the Nintendo DS version. Uh, this asks if you want a Lutris to open a Lutris link with Lutris. Uh, the answer is yes. Going through, it's fine. And what this should, emphasis on, should ah yeah so it should work emphasis on should it might just be my luck let's pick another one see this is what should have happened just my luck with with it not working that's time. That's fine. Don't worry. That's a me problem, not you. Fine. Uh, that wants, what this is saying is that is the package runner. So that's the thing that actually runs it. In this case, it's LibRetro. LibRetro are the folks that make RetroArch. And the stuff is fantastic. Uh, excuse me, whilst we apparently wait into the year 3 billion for however long it's going to take to download that one. In this case, it is asking for the ROM for 007 Nightfire. 
I don't have the ROM for 007, ROM for 007 Nightfire. Unfortunately, can't download it, we can't install it. However, if we were to, we'd drop in the ROM and then go, hey, work for me, please. In this case, it's fine, we'll just click cancel. But that's how you install Lutris using my own, uh, my own install scripts and just takes the concern away for Debian users. It just, it, it just works. As you can see, it genuinely does just work. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. They only seem to work even though you can only see one of them. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.